When you're in the middle of it, it feels like you're lost in this monster. That to me is when I play net my most successful is when I lose myself inside of it. The moment that I knew that I was going to be a guitar player is the first moment I picked up a guitar and played it. The tone is beautiful, like a voice singing, and it's kind of sad, it has its own little sorrow to it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm happy. Because I'm putting it all in here, like all my sorrow, it really is going in here, or maybe anger and aggression, it kind of all goes in here. So then I'm left like this formless, voidless thing. <laughs> so my dad played guitar, and I always worshipped my dad because he was the best natural musician that I ever knew. When I was a kid, I was bullied a lot because we were poor and we kept moving every couple years. So I really got lost in playing music. When I was young, I was told that girls couldn't play guitar because we didn't have forearm strength and we didn't have grip strength. And so I didn't pick up a guitar for a long time because of that. It discouraged me. Once I drew the conclusion that I could get as good as I practiced, then I decided I wouldn't care if anyone said anything to me to discourage me. By far, Kathy Moore is probably one of the best guitarists in the city, or probably in the, the region, worldwide, I don't know. She's a kind-hearted, great-spirited musician. I used to get, is that your boyfriend's guitar? If I would carry it in. <laughs> That's nice that they thought I was carrying my boyfriend's guitar for him. Um, or, um, wow, I've never seen a girl shred before. And I think, you know, what are you gonna do? That's the way. <laughs> it will change. It is changing. It will change. Are you on E? One, two, three. I've been teaching Jazz Ed, which is a program that is about equity, and it gets instruments into the hands of people who can't afford instruments. And um, a lot of local, really fantastic jazz musicians teach combos there, and they teach summer camps. I have all these young girl students right now that are really fantastic and it's exciting to know that they're part of this change that is continuing to happen. I want to do things all the time. And I like playing with lots of women and lots of men and lots of really great musicians. So I don't feel competitive with men or women, I feel like the sort of joyful, um, positive competition. On that night that we did the Jimi Hendrix tribute, Ian Moore had just played the best solo that could possibly be played in the evening, and I knew I couldn't compete with him. So I did this thing in my brain where I was like, just relax. And I just took this deep breath and I said, whatever you do, it has to start in this place of calmness. So the whole beginning is me playing really kind of, trying to play beautifully and calmly and find my tone and my passion. And then somehow my guitar and my voice connected and by the end of it, yeah, I totally lost my shit. <laughs> so it looks like I'm angry, and it looks like I'm, you know, like I could shred a, a phone book in half, but I'm actually very exhilarated.
When I'm playing with other musicians, it makes me excited and exhilarated. And if I'm playing great music, then I can lose myself. And that is a place of absolute joy. Here we go.